Hey guys, it's Dana and welcome back to Kay's Place. So I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. I know we had a fabulous Christmas and it's been so, so busy. Um, I picked up a lot of things before Christmas. I've picked up some things after Christmas and to be honest, I just didn't have a chance to film. I enjoyed spending lots of time with my mom, with my husband, with my son. I really wish I could have had a chance to spend time with some of our extended family, but with things being the way that they are now, that just couldn't happen. So, um, oh, this hair, that's rough. So, um, I wanted to share with you guys what I have picked up over the past um, few weeks. Some of it I picked up a little before Christmas, and some of it I've picked up in the week since Christmas. Um, I've picked up some from Hobby Lobby, some from Michael's, and some from Tuesday morning. So I think I have one thing I got from Dollar Tree and one thing I got from Big Lots. So um, let's start and show you what I picked up. So I did, we ran into Big Lots tonight and they had all of their Christmas stuff on sale for 50% off. So I did happen to see this craft ribbon and it was just a really pretty gold and it ended up being 75 cents. It is three eighths of an inch by 12 feet. And so I went ahead, that's what it looks like. Let's see if I can get the glare off of it. There you go, maybe. And I went ahead and picked it up. Like I said, it was 75 cents. It is a craft ribbon. So I did go ahead and pick that up. And then um, I found these at Dollar Tree. Never seen them before. Um, and somebody else picked up the other four that were there before I got to them. So there's five sheets. They're 3.9 inches by 4.82 inches. And it's a stronghold, invisible finish, acid and lignin free. Instant Tacky Aileen's Original Double-Sided Adhesive Sheets. Never seen them before. It says, Cut Aileen's Instant Tacky Double-Sided Adhesive Sheets to Size. Peel away top liner to expose adhesive. Place, a, ex, place exposed adhesive on item. Peel away bottom liner and adhere item to project. So, I'd never seen them before. So they're just little bitty double-sided adhesive sheets, I suppose. Um, it must be super sticky because they're stuck inside the package. So, hmm, they are super, super sticky. And they are, they're super sticky, all right. They are definitely sticky. Um, so yeah, Let's see if I can peel one apart here. Hmm, huh, there we go. So this is what they look like. You have a little piece off to the side so that you're able to tear it up, tear it off. And this is your, there's just one sheet of double-sided adhesive per page. So, oh, hmm, those ought to be interesting to try out. They are definitely sticky. So, pick those up for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So then at Michael's, everything was 66 or 60 percent off and I found this cute little charm for Christmas it says North Pole and it's got some little glitter in the background it's got some trees it wasn't it didn't end up being very much it was like two dollars and some change so it was really cute so I picked that up I have a beautiful Christmas village that I normally get to put out that I didn't get to put out this year and I saw these um, by Lemmix 
And there are these cute little signs. It says, try holiday specials, Tori Emporium, uh, fresh pastries, specials, fresh, 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 fresh pastries, croissants, village antiques, furniture, porcelain, consignments, welcome. And uh, these weren't as well. These were like um, two something. They were $6.99 and 60% off. So there's these little signs to go in my Christmas village. And then I had a coupon that I had gotten in the mail. I think it was for 40% off. And I used it on this. And this is just a clear stamp die. It says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And it's got a little elf on a shelf, a little snowman, and a little penguin with ice skates. So I just thought that was really cute. So I picked that up as well. And then they had some ribbon. And I thought this is really pretty. It's in their Christmas section. But I think it ended up being like $3 or something. But I can use it any time of the year. It is a really pretty dusty pink color. Um, it is 3 eighths of an inch by 6 yards. And it's a real pretty blush pink velvet. So that I figured I could use any time of the year, Valentine's Day or whenever. So I figured I'd go ahead and pick that up. So, and Hobby Lobby. They had all of their Christmas stuff on sale for 66% off. It was a weird number. 65, 66%. It was a strange number. So I picked up this Christmas paper crafts, Christmas twine, 25 yards. Uh, each three pieces. So there was the red, white, and green, the green and white, and the red and white. I would hazard a guess as to tell you how much this was because I really don't remember. I picked this up like two or three days ago. There's that. I picked up these Christmas craft buttons, and these are just some snowflakes. I had picked up earlier around Christmas time when they had everything 50% off, I had picked up the um, gold star stickers and I didn't see the silver ones. These are 45 pieces and these are the silver stars. So I picked those up. This, I believe, was 50% off when I picked it up. This is the fairy tale, fairy tale by Bead Treasures. This was $4.99. I believe it was 40% off. And I just thought that would be, I'm sure it's like supposed to be like frozen or something, but I thought she thought that'd be a beautiful winter charm. So I picked that up as well. These are the wood feet that I always like to use. I think the ones by um, Tim Holtz are always too big, or they're usually too big for some of the projects that I do. And the ones by um, Paper Studio are usually too big as well. But I really like these by Wood Woodpile. So I picked up another set of these for $3.49. I used a 40% off coupon on these when I picked them up. So I like using those little feet when I can find them. I did use a coupon on this, I believe, when I picked it up. They were putting out some of their Valentine's Day things. And these are Valentine's Day animal stickers. There's eight pieces. They were $2.99. And I believe I used a 40% off coupon. There are unicorns, kittens, doggies, and monkeys. There's little doggies and monkeys. And then here are the kitties and unicorns. And then in their clearance section, I did pick up three packages of the paper poinsettias. And I believe there were 12 pieces in each one of these. And these were 66% off. And I think I picked up, I picked up two of these. I thought I'd done a mess when I picked up one. I picked up two packages of the Gingerbread Men Glitter Stickers. There's 44 pieces in each one. So I picked up two packages of these. These were also on the clearance. 
I meant to pick up two of these, and I guess I didn't. These are the Holly glitter stickers, and there's 30 in a pack. These were $2.49 as well. I picked up one of those. Uh, these were 50% off when I picked these up. These are by Bead Design Company. These are 10 millimeter round beads. And these are kind of a blue, kind of a blue and white marble. Almost looks like a watercolor. So they were like maybe $1.49, I believe. It's a 1.1 ounce bag. It's a real pretty blue and white marble. I just look, it reminds me of water or the sky. It's just real pretty. So I picked those up. Um, right around Christmas time, I picked up some more Christmas dyes. Um, I think they had them on sale 40% off. Um, the Sizzix and Spellbinders dyes. So I did pick up this one. This is the um, Build a Doily die. And Pointed Harmony Doily. This was $18.99 and it was 40% off. So I did pick that one up. And then this one is the Snowflake Splendor die set. And it's eight pieces and this was $26.99 and it was 40% off. And I did go ahead and pick it up as well. And I like this piece here because I think this is kind of a, um, a versatile piece here that I'll be able to use for different things throughout the year. I did pick up the Sizzix die, which is the um, Santa Slatter die. It's a little slatter for Santa. He's a cute card. That'll make a cute card. I also picked up the Jennifer Ogle Oglevorn Elegant Poinsettia die. I love how this, I did actually get a chance to cut several of these out and they look so pretty. I had wanted to get the tattered poinsettia and somehow I never got around to being able to find it. And then I picked up this as well, this Tim Holtz Thinlet called Woodlands. So I picked those up from Hobby Lobby. I also picked up this fairy tale by Beaded Treasures. This, um... She's called a Thousand Wishes Pendant. And I had done a dangle, and the person had requested it be a fairy themed, and I had no fairy charms. And this is definitely a fairy. It's a Thousand Wishes fairy. And so I thought this would be perfect next time I needed a fairy. So I picked her up to, just to put in my stash to have for next time. They had stickability stickers on sale for 50% off, or Paper Studio, and so I picked this one up for Christmas, just to have to put up for next year. I thought this was really pretty. I love the little girl. I think she's so cute, and I like this one as well. I just like the old-time vintage -y theme of these. And then I found these, and... Aside from the fact that they fall off of this card so easily, I love the stickers. They are, um, they're cardstock stickers. It's 20 pieces, and I love the theme of them. It's so pretty, so feminine. I just, they pop off this card so easily. This is what they look like. Maybe a little closer so you can get a better look at them. I love them. They look so pretty. So, but you definitely have to be careful with it because it will pop right off of that card. It is definitely not, they're definitely not on there very well. <clears throat> So, then I picked up some things from Tuesday morning. Sorry about that noise there. Just trying to kind of rearrange some things on my desk.
Okay. So, I'm going to take a drink real fast. Oh, sorry. I did pick up two more things from Hobby Lobby. I picked up some um, Pearl X powder pigments in magenta to color some resin that I had picked up a while back. And I also picked up a purple one, but I'm not sure right at the moment where it's at. But I did pick up the magenta, and then I picked up a purple. And I also was out of Mod Podge, and I picked up a large thing of matte. The matte Mod Podge. So, that was everything I picked up at Hobby Lobby. So, now we move on to Tuesday morning. So... I had, I'm a horrible, self-proclaimed, horrible card maker. I just am. It's not even that I don't enjoy it. I just think I'm terrible at it. Terrible. Like if they had a card making class, I would need to take it because I'm awful at it. Awful. So. I don't care. I can cut anything else out at a perfect, measure it, perfect, cut it, everything goes great. I go to cut a card base and that thing will be as uneven as if I tried to cut it out with scissors and no ruler. <laughs> it's awful. So, I saw these at Tuesday morning. They're about paper pieces. And there are 25 cards and envelopes, and this is the rainbow pack, and it's pastels. And they are laser and inkjet compatible, which I really don't think matters to me. Um, they're four and a quarter by five and a half, and the envelopes are four and three eighths by five and three quarters. And they are a pastel pink, a cream, a baby blue, a lavender, and a Kind of a real pretty yellow. You know, a pale yellow. So that's what they look like. And the envelopes are the same color as the cards. And these were $4.99. It says they're an A2 card. So I did pick these up. And then I picked up the primary rainbow pack is what it says. These are four and a quarter by five and a half. And these are in red, bright yellow, white, blue, and green. And there are, like I said, 25 cards and 25 envelopes. And these were also $4.99. And here's what they look like on the front. And then here are your colors. And then just because I need normal colored envelopes and different sizes of cards, I also picked up the Create Your Own Greeting Cards. And these are five by seven heavyweight folded cards with five and a quarter by seven and a quarter envelopes. And these are white and they just look like this. And these were $5.99. And then I picked up the 50 cards and envelopes in the natural color, which is kind of the cream, in the 5x7. These are the A7 size, and these were also $5.99. And these are also by paper pieces. So, at least my cards, the base of my cards will be even. The layering pieces... We can't speak so much for those, but at least the bases will be even. So, um, a while back I had picked up some of this uh, Crafter's Companion Pearl cardstock. I love this stuff. It is such nice cardstock. So, I found it in this blue, and it was such a beautiful blue. So, I went ahead and picked it up. It's 8.5 by 11. It's uh, 250 GSM. It is 12 pieces for $3.99. And 
is that not the most gorgeous blue? It's so pretty. So I went ahead and picked that up as well. Get some of the bigger stuff out of my way first. Um, I had found some paper and this one is by Kaiser Craft. It's called Lily and Moss Collection. And this was $3.99. And there were... Well, it didn't tell me if the pages were in here. So, but it's really pretty. This is what the front of that looks like. Just a real pretty watercolor pink and green. And then on the back, which is part of the reason I got it, it has words or s phrases, should I say. And it's definitely a nice heavy cardstock. I checked before I bought it. It says, live in the moment, ready for anything. It's the little things. Moments make great memories. Be here in this moment. We are grateful for all the things we have. Or, grateful for all the things. We have all we need. All we need is each other. Blessed to have you in my life. Ready for this being. Ready for, ready for this. Being together is the best place to be. Happiness looks gorgeous on you. This is only the beginning. Making memories. Start each day with a grateful heart. Show them you're not the ordinary type. Never stop looking up. Take a deep breath. Today's moments are tomorrow's memories. Some friendships are timeless. Always smile. Every picture tells a story. Love the way you look at me. It's got all kinds of words and phrases and things that, that you could use. Just tons. And I stink at sentiments too. So like cards. Cards are my downfall. So... I just thought having all these different sentiments and things that I could cut out and use on tags and cards would definitely be a bonus. So I picked those up. And then this I just thought was gorgeous. This is also by Cars Kaiser Craft. It is called Starry Night. It is beautiful. I guess you could consider them poinsettias or you could just call them flowers. I think they're pretty. Either way you call them. It's a gold foiled paper with these really pretty flowers. And then the back is a gray on gray brick wall. This is it's a little difficult to see. The camera's picking it up a little bit, but glares kind of rough. There you go. So, I thought that was gorgeous. That was also $3.99. And then I picked up this uh, six pattern, 12 by 12, double-sided pages, two sheets each, with a bonus sheet that is stickers by Kaiser Craft. This is called Everlasting. This was $4.99. And these are what the sheets look like. This is what the one side looks like, and this is what the other side looks like, and this is what your sticker sheet's going to look like. So, I did pick that up. And then I picked up by Heidi Swap. I have these memory decks cards that I've been getting. And to be honest, if I don't put them somewhere, I'm going to lose them. Just being totally honest. And so this is actually meant for photos. But I thought, well, you know what? I bet it would make a nice memory decks card holder. I found the best little... Here it is. I found this little knife. Walmart. Is that not the nicest little knife? The detail knife? I'm in love with this thing. There we go. 
So open this up. This was four dollars and ninety-nine cents. I thought it looks pretty. I can take it out and put whatever color in there I want as far as around the box. And I figured it would hold my memory deck cards. A nice tight lid. There we go. So, figured my memory deck cards would fit nicely in the little acrylic box. My dogs are going to bark. No, no. Shh. My dog's in here with me, sorry. My other dogs are barking, so I figure he's going to give his little rendition down here. Um, and it does have these little cards that come in it, so I could always separate them out by people's last names or seasons or however I decided to sort through them. So, but I did think it was kind of cute, so I went ahead and picked that up for $4.99. And they did have a bigger one that I believe was $5.99, and it's got a little gold thing on the top of it there. So, I thought that'd be a nice way to store my memory decks cards. And then I picked up by, um, Hero Arts. I picked up these layering inks. Yeah! No, no, stop. Sorry. Um, I picked up these layering inks. This one's called Yana. Hold on just a second. Sorry. Okay. Sorry about that. Apparently he had to speak. So I picked up these layering inks. And these are by um, Hero Arts. And this is called the Yana Samakula set. This is called Yana's Bolds. And there are four of them in here. There's unicorn, green apple, strawberry, and let's see what this fourth one is. Dandelion. So that's what they look like. Then they were $4.99. Then this one is called, I picked up four sets. This one's Kelly Ras Rasmussen. No, no. And this one's called Kelly's Flowers. And this is Ultra Pink Raspberry Jam Tide Pool and Emerald Green. And that's what those look like. And then I picked up, this is Jane Kelson. And this one's called Jane's Blush. This one's got fresh peach, pale tomato, royal red, and cocoa. And that's what those look like. And like I said, all these were $4.99. And then I, the last one that I picked up is, it doesn't say, it doesn't have a name on it. This one's called Water Lilies Layering. It's hard to open. It's got soft pink, bubble gum, royal, red royal, and butter bar in it. And that's what those look like. And they're just little ink cubes. So then I found these. I've never seen these before. If you've seen these before or you've used them before, drop me a comment and let me know how they perform or what you've used them for. I found these. These are Jane Davenport waterproof brush pen, waterproof brush pens. They were $3.49 a piece and they're called the ultimate pen. This one is called made in suede. That's what that looks like. And then I found Daisy Dukes. Thriller jacket. And hot vinyl gloss. 
And like I said, all of these were $3.49 a piece. So then I found some I did pick up a large punch. This is the large punch by EK Tools and this is the heart. And I did go ahead and pick this one up. This was $9.99. I always try to pick up any of the EK Tools punches whenever I get a chance. So I went ahead and picked that one up. And then I've never seen a set like this before. This is a, this was $9.99 as well. Peonies are some of my favorite flowers. And I found this, it's by Hero Arts. It is a large wooden mounted stamp. And it has a metal die that goes along with it. <clears throat> so, and it is a large peony. So there is the peony. And then here is the metal die that cuts out the peony. So I just thought that was so neat. It was $9.99. Um, I've never seen anything like it before. It is a red rubber stamp on wood mount. That's what that looks like. So, I think that's going to be beautiful to color. did pick up some stamps by Hero Arts. I picked up this Polly Claire stamp set called Tiger Wisdom. And it says, hello, beautiful. Let's drink to that. Sip, sip, hooray. Thank you. You are magnificent. And it's got two tiger cubs and then a large tiger. It's so cute. I love the little tiger cubs. They are so precious. I also found this one by Kaiser Crafts. It says, you are so special. Handmade. Handmade with love. And I'm not sure what the other one says. Oh, to live a creative life, we must lose our fear of being wrong. And what does this other one say? can't read that. I guess I'm going blind. I'm getting old. Joseph Chilton Pierce. Oh, there you go. She said it. So I picked this one up. This is $3.99. The one with the tigers was $6.99. And then I found some more Kaiser Craft dies. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I found this um, floral branch for $5.99. And this is what it looks like on the front. And that's what the actual die looks like. Then I found this vines for $4.99. And that's what it looks like on the back. For $5.99, I found this outline flower. And I think it's really pretty. This is what the actual dye looks like. I found another greenery piece. It's called Leaf Stem. It's 
and this is what it looks like and this is what the actual dial looks like this one is called classic square frame was seven dollars and 99 cents i think this is gorgeous by the way this is what the actual dial looks like This one is called Decorative Tag Topper. I think this would also make a pretty bag topper. I think you could make this work as a bag topper. This was $7.99. That's what that looks like. I found these turtles, which I think are so cute, for $7.99. And that's what our little turtles look like. Again, that's what they look like. So cute. I love the little cutouts on the turtle. And then I found this 3D flower. And it's got lots of intricate little pieces that go with it, as well as some little flourishes. This was $9.99. This is what it looks like. And then these are the dies that go with it. Then I also picked up by Kaiser Craft, I picked up the With Love colored ephemera pack. It was $3.99. And that looks like that. It's got some gold foiling in it. Doesn't really tell you how many pieces it has in it. Uh, includes 35 or more pieces. It kind of gives you an idea that it would, they look like, but not really. So, okay. Then I also picked up by Kaiser Craft the um, Craft Noon die cuts. It also says there's 38 or more pieces in this one. It goes with that stamp set that I picked up. And I picked up the, let me see if I can find that little blade that I had here. Hold on a second. So I picked up the Kaiser Craft six, six and a half inch, six by five paper pad with love. There's two, two by 12 sheets of 160 GSM designer paper. So two of there's 12 sheets and two of each of the 12 sheets and six foiled sheets. And there's two of each of the foiled sheets plus four die cut pages. That was confusing. This was $3.99. <laughs> so here you go. That was confusing. So that's one of the pages. I guess that must be one of them that there's two of. And then this, the floral page. Yeah, I think that is so pretty. I know it's never a floral person, but I think that's gorgeous. Let me get this one. It's kind of a minty color. Then you've got this kind of a pinky stripe. We got the white and gold polka dots, the green floral, and you've got this white floral, you got a mirrored gold, I didn't see that, and you've got this pink and matte gold. And you've got the 
Blue Gum Pink. And that's a pretty floral page. Then this kind of looks like a black to me. Black on black. It's definitely tone on tone. But this is a gorgeous floral page. I think that's really pretty with the gold foiling. And there's this one that's blue with kind of a green leaf on it. Oh, look at those butterflies. Those would be pretty fussy cut out. Those are cute. And then you've got the white with the gold stripe. And these are your die cut pages that are already pre die cut out. There you go. Just use and seal them real well. And you've got some tabs and border pieces. And we've got some bigger pieces here. And some tickets. I mean, not tickets. Tags. Then you've got tickets. <laughs> and tabs. And then some sentiments. So that's what was in there. And then I also picked up the Bow Bunny Count the Ways 6x8 paper pad for $3.99. And it has got some really cute paper in it. And it's got the roses. And you've got this rose page here. This is actually going into 42 minutes, so if I have to divide this up into two parts, I am so sorry. And you've got this page here. And you've got this lace page. And you've got the stripes. And I like that. I think that's really pretty. And you've got this kind of green on green here. I always like how Bo Benny puts the same, puts a pattern up here at the top. So if you needed to, you could always use that little strip up there. And you've got this pink on pink. And I love this soft floral. I think it's so pretty. Conversation cards. These are just a bunch of little pink dots kind of on a white field. You just can't hardly see the white anymore. And you've got some really pretty roses again. And this is just a red page, pretty much. When you actually look at it in the camera, you can see it's a red on red. It's really hard to see. And then you've got different borders here on this page. Looks like all the different prints stuck together on the one page. And then you've got a lighter page of all roses, like the first page. And then it repeats itself. So that was the end of what I picked up at Tuesday morning. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Um, I do have another video that I'm going to upload and show you a few more things I picked up. So, thanks for watching. And again, like I said, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Please let me know how your Christmas went. Um, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. As I don't think if you guys as subscribers, I think if you guys as my family and my friends... And I really do miss talking to you all when I haven't seen you in a while. So drop by, say hi, chat with me for a little bit. And I will see you guys again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.